welcome to another edition of Inside Medicine. I'm your host, Doug Geinzer, the CEO of Las Vegas Heels. And we're here in the studio today with Christy Petro and Crystal Hall of UMP Urologics. For those of you that are new to uh, Inside Medicine, we bring leaders of the healthcare space right here in Las Vegas into the studio to get to know them, get to know their businesses. Folks that are in the medical education space, folks that are doing things in medical tourism. And today we have folks from UMP Urologics that uh, provide product to our urologists right here in the Las Vegas marketplace. And we're going to learn a little bit about them. If you're watching this show later on, you could catch us on YouTube. You could catch us on our uh, Facebook page and you're able to download us on Roku and also on iTunes. So uh, if you miss any of the episodes, please go to those and you'll be able to download those and see us. And we broadcast here every single week in the studio and on Thursdays at 10 o'clock. Welcome to the studio. And it's, uh, we, we love to have new folks here. And so welcome to uh, the, the studio and welcome to Inside Medicine. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So let, ladies, let's. Before we get started, a lot of folks may not be familiar with urologics, and what I want to do is take a little bit of time to educate our audience. As you probably know, our audience is made up of physicians, uh, hospital leaders, healthcare executives, administrators, community leaders, and folks that just support healthcare in Las Vegas. And a lot of people go, what is this? So let's take a little bit of time and explain some of the ecosystem of the products that UMP has to offer and how they tie into the healthcare spectrum as a whole. Absolutely. Um, so what we provide uh, most of the time are catheters, urinary mm -hmm. catheters. Uh, when a person is in retention or has incontinence uh, with their with their bladder, uh, we provide those to the patient at home. Uh, we also have ostomy supplies, uh, so if they've had any kind of surgery where they actually have to have uh, the pouch that goes on the on the belly. I was wondering uh, what ostomy was. Yep, I saw that word and yep. I went, that's a big yep. word. It's, it's the, the pouch that goes there on the belly. <laughs> gotcha. Um, we provide those. Uh, and then we also provide incontinence supplies as well. Um, as everyone usually knows, it's the, quote, Depends. Um, now, mm -hmm. that's a brand name, yep. um, but they are in... Uh, just incontinence pads and, okay. and briefs. Cool. And so these are things that patients may need on a short-term basis. Some may need... Long-term. Long-term. It could be a forever thing. It mm -hmm. could be a post-surgery thing. It could be a, um, you know, maybe just a, a temporary until we can get surgery. Okay. And so in the ecosystem, at what point do you touch the patient and how does the patient find you? Usually the patient finds us through the rehab facility or through their uro urologist. Okay. Uh, so it's through the physician. We work with those physicians and those those rehab facilities. Okay, cool. So let's get to know a little bit more about UMP. First off, what does UMP stand for? What does it mean? UMP is United Medical Providers. Okay. So it's UMP Urologicals. Um, we just kind of go short because everybody likes an acronym. Absolutely. Makes it a lot easier to, to know. Yep. And you're not based, well, you, you got a, a, a presence here in Las Vegas, but you're headquartered elsewhere. Where, where, where did UMP come about? We are actually headquartered in New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, uh, that good. is where our president, David Wills, lives. Uh -huh. um, that's uh, He started the company, and then post-Katrina, he decided that he was going to go into urologicals only. Very good. And, and so you've been in business since 96. Correct. How long have you had a presence here in Las Vegas? Uh, over 10 years, actually. We've uh -huh. had a rep. Um, we have a, a newer rep here now. Uh, it's Crystal Hall. Yep. She's the one here with us and today. We're going to meet Crystal here in a few minutes. And so tell, so you represent a line of products. And so tell me a little bit about some of these, the, the, the groups that you represent from, is it Bard or is it Baird? Bard. Bard, okay. Mm -hmm. And so tell us a little bit about how that relationship works and the product lines. And Absolutely. Um, a cath in the scheme of things, a catheter is a catheter. Mm -hmm. um, just like a car is a car. It gets you from point A to point B. Um, there's different manufacturers. Mm -hmm. That's what Bard, Coloplast, Cure, there's all different kinds. We're the kind of that middleman, that dealership, if you want to say, okay. um, that helps you decide what of those products you need. What is the best for you as a patient? Um, and try to help those physicians and rehab uh, social workers, case managers, figure that out with the patient. Cool. So obviously, if... You're just one of the same. There's something that sets you apart from others. Absolutely. What is it that, what is that? It's our customer service. Uh, we are 100% dedicated to our to our patients, to our referral sources, which are, as, I, as we've said, you know, those rehabs, those physicians, those MAs, those nurses that we deal with every day, trying to help those patients get the, the proper, proper product, proper 
proper needs. And so does each patient then get, uh, how do they, do they get assigned a patient coordinator like Crystal? What does that look like? We actually have uh, intake coordinators as mm-hmm. well inside our office in New Orleans. Okay. Uh, so they are dedicated to that patient and to that uh, patient care coordinator. So Crystal has her representative, uh, intake representative in New Orleans in our uh, office. Okay. Uh, his name is Joe. Uh, so if anybody needs um, anything from Vegas, from Southern mm-hmm. Nevada, they call our office. They don't get a press one, press two, anything like that. They actually get to speak with Joe. Very cool. And Crystal, you're here in Las Vegas. Yes. So you're the one that everybody gets to meet and establish a relationship with. Right. And how long have you been with UMP? Um, about three years. Okay, cool. How long have you been in Las Vegas? A long time. A long time. So <laughs> so you're not somebody that comes into the market and just sells for a couple of days and then goes back home. So you're here. You live in Las yes, Vegas. Yes, I love it here. And you're part of this community, part of the fabric. Yeah. and. Very cool. So when somebody uh, calls upon you, what's unique? Are they able to call you 24-7? Definitely. Um, One of the things that I love about the job is the customer service. And at any time, anybody can call me if they have an emergency situation. I can deliver samples for them. Um, I'm available anytime they can call me. I cover uh, Arizona, uh, Southern California, and here. Okay, very cool. Well, it's good to know that we've got a local rep right here, somebody that's born and raised. Well, not born and raised, but <laughs> pretty much <laughs> been in Vegas for a period of time. That, that makes yes. a big difference out here because people want to know that they're dealing with somebody that's from here. Yes. Uh, so that's cool. So UMP is one of our newest sponsors at Las Vegas Hills, and we're very thankful for the support that you all provide. Uh, I know you're going to have a table at our upcoming annual Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards on October 25th, and going to be able to meet some of the other sponsors and the members. It's a pretty big deal. We appreciate all that support. It's it's important to us. But you're not only a supporter of Las Vegas Hills, you really give a lot to this community. You're part of this community. And, you know, one of the groups that you sponsor is Conquer Paralysis Now Foundation. Mm-hmm. A lot of folks in town know Sam Schmidt. Uh, he's an icon out here. He is. So tell us a little bit about that and how you got to know Sam and what uh, Conquer Paralysis Now, what does that mean to you? Sam, uh, Sam is an amazing man. Um, he, uh, of course, everybody knows um, with his injury and his accident. Uh, and then, so we started back several years ago, uh, actually producing the IndyCar calendar. And then those proceeds went back to Sam's foundation. Um, we are now working with Sam with his driven rehab facility here in Las Vegas. Yep. Which is opening soon. It is opening soon. And a lot of people don't. So tell us a little bit more about Sam, because I know Sam. Uh, a lot of folks do, but not everybody does. So tell us a little bit more about Sam, and uh, because some don't know that he was a NASCAR driver. No, Indy, Indy car. Uh, Indy, oh, he was. Indy I car. Felt, I felt the whack. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So Sam was an Indy car driver. Um, he had an accident in Walt Dis- uh, Walt Disney World in practice uh, one day, um, mm-hmm. and had a, a severe injury, uh, and is now a quad. Yep. And. Um, he is just an amazing man. He's at every, almost every race. Uh, he's the co-owner of Schmidt Peterson Motorsports, mm-hmm. um, and just a very giving person. Um, wants to. He he says he's he's gonna walk um, to walk his daughter down the aisle. That's amazing. It's uh, so, he's he's an amazing amazing man, and yes. it's, he's done so much for this community. And it's what a, a privilege to partner partner with him. Absolutely. Another group that you uh, sponsor that you're very close to is the SBA's Walk and Rolls. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we go nationally because we do have seven reps throughout the nation, um, Mm -hmm. Crystal being one of them. Uh, We try to to support each community. So it's not just going out and saying, okay, we're going to sponsor and give a donation. Um, We want to be personal with those people. We want to, to personally know those folks, see those faces. When you see someone out in the public, and you see the rep, you can go, oh, hi, yeah, I saw you Saturday at the walk and roll. Um, so we've, we've done that. Um, we've actually done the Asheville. They canceled the Charlotte one because of Florence. Uh, so they're going to be yeah. rescheduling that. Yeah. Um, Crystal's getting ready actually in November. Very cool. She'll be sponsoring um, and, and attending that one. You know, and this community pays so much attention to those that give back. 
Uh, just look at what happened with the October 1 shootings and how this community came together. And they look for that in our corporate partners, that not only are you here, but are you giving back to the community? And UMP does just such an amazing job with that, so we're very thankful for that. It, it's recognized. Absolutely, and we, and we, we enjoy it. That's, again, that's part of, of David's mantra, um, mm-hmm. our president, is to give back. Um, so we want to make sure that we do that. For and you all have been a big supporter of it's friends for Michael. Uh, and I did a little bit of research yeah. before the show and what, uh, just a heartwarming foundation. Absolutely. That they're based out of Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Um, so our Louisville rep, um, actually, um, she works very closely with them. Uh, and yeah, Michael was a, a, a very good, um, very young, young child when he had his injury. Uh, and they just work really hard to, try to help everyone uh, with a disability um, doing playground, making playgrounds, helping build playgrounds for everyone. So everyone feels like they're together, like they're not separated because they have that disability. Very cool. And there's so many others that you all support. I I saw that you support Zero the End uh, of Prostate Cancer, which is big. You know, it's, it's, again, thank you for everything that you do for the community. That's that's important. And, And then obviously you're involved with a lot of the professional associations as well. Uh, it's probably important to, to be part of that group and support them. And, you know, just to mention a few, the American Urological Association and the Society of Urologic uh, Nurses and Associates. So uh, very important to be part of there. Um, so talk to us a little bit more about uh, the process. I had a, a couple notes here about the, the, the rinse and reuse. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. It intrigued me. I don't know enough, and I'd like to learn a little bit more, as I'm sure our viewers would as well. Absolutely. Um, up until 2012, um, Medicare, and most of the time our patients are of Medicare age. Mm-hmm. Uh, so up until 2012, Medicare only allowed a patient to have four catheters a month. They felt that you could rinse them, wash them out, um, however you wanted to, quote, sterilize them at home and reuse them because it's supposedly just a clean technique. It is, um, but I don't really want to use that same catheter every day, six times a day for a week. Yeah. Um, So when you only had four, that's what you had to do. So you had to wash it, clean it up, put it in a little baggie, keep it, take it with you. And hope that you got all of the germs and all of all of the bacteria off of it. Caused a lot of UTIs, uh, urinary tract infections. Of course, which costs more money. Costs more money. Costs, um, you know, admissions. It it costs readmission rates. Um, everybody, of course, is now readmission rates are, are through the roof. You know, deal, it's a big yeah. deal now. Um, so, in 2012, Medicare decided, okay, fine, we're going to give you 200 a month per patient. Got it. We're going to pay for 200 a month. So that was amazing for our patients. Uh, that so reduced our urinary tract infections. Um, and people just being in the thought process of, I have to put that back somewhere that I really didn't want to put it to begin with, and maybe it's not clean. Yeah, of course. And you all are an approved Medicare provider. Absolutely, absolutely. And then the other thing that I saw that makes you all stand out as well is you're HQAA certified. So tell us a little bit about the Health Quality Association accredited and why that means something, because some aren't. Um, Right. Um, What that means is we're following all of the highest standards that we possibly can. Uh, We're not cutting any corners anywhere. We're not saying, oh, well, we can do that for you, no problem. Um, We don't do that. We make sure that we we cover everything, cover our bases, cover our patients' care, cover our referral sources, uh, and make sure that we give the the excellent customer service and patient care that we can. That's great. And again, we can't thank you enough at Las Vegas Heels for your support, everything that you do for us, everything that you do for the community. Is there anything that we did not discuss that you wish that we did? Um, I don't think so. Actually, I think we've we've touched on everything. Our, our customer service is the that's where we stand out as UMP. Um, you know, like Crystal said, 24-7. You have us 24-7. If you call Crystal, uh, most patients, most referral sources, rehab facilities, they have her cell phone number. Use it. That's why we give it out there. If you call our office, you get a person 24-7. Yeah. You don't get the push one for this or push two for that or, oh, we'll answer the phone at 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Because if you need something, it's emergent usually. Yeah, and don't, so- don't sleep. Yeah, so if, if somebody, you know, there's new viewers, people that don't know you yet, if they wanted to get in touch with you, yes. what's the best way for them to do that? 
Um, as far as you can call my cell phone, you can send an email. Do you mind sharing that with the group today or uh, is that something that you That's you'd... fine. Okay. <laughs> my cell phone number is 702-591-6789. Okay. And my email is crystal at umponline.com. Very cool. Anything else for the good uh, of today's show? Well, one thing I wanted to add uh, that I love about the company is that, you know, the patient really has the choice. We give out these sample bags. We include all the different brands. We're not trying to push them towards something. It's really all about what they want and what they're comfortable with. Yep. And I, I think that's really important. And that's important. Obviously, you represent the biggest brands that we just saw. Correct. So that's yeah. important. Well, very good. I want to thank everybody for joining us today uh, on Inside Medicine. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. And uh, welcome and we'll see you soon. Thank you.